just finished um dirge of of cerberus final fantasy 7 uh it's not good it's uh it's it's not i would not describe it as a good game um the uh the the huge reticle on the screen was so annoying the camera is so up close on your character a lot of times when you're trying to aim um environmental uh you know objects and then your own character are blocking your aim so it can be very hard you can go into first person mode if you hate yourself and aim that way um yeah i mean if you just want to have probably a seizure you could play it that way um it does remind me of crisis core in some ways because it's like not a great game but it does some things well and it has like this goofiness to it like there's several parts of dirge that are just kind of over the top dumb and the game sometimes really seems to lean into it and i i respect that and i i had some fun with it i don't regret streaming it i don't regret playing it i enjoyed getting extra laurel in final fantasy 7 so i think that's why a lot of final fantasy fans specifically final fantasy 7 fans like the game because i mean you do get extra lore on characters there are some really cool scenes there are some really cool boss fights um there are some really annoying characters in the game um I, i'm really i think out of all of the main characters in final fantasy 7 you know vincent valentine was probably the one that i knew the least about and was probably the least interested in and uh i still find him to be one of the least likable characters in the game mainly because of his relationship um with that female scientist who is just completely unlikable in my opinion they did try to give her a bit of a redemption arc in this game i just feel like it wasn't done very well i feel like that character could be likable i feel like that character could be redeemed but in my eyes they haven't done that i still i still find her to be very unlikable um every time she was on screen every time that she was in the in the game at all it, i found her to just be super annoying and uh it was it also in my opinion because her character is so poorly um you know written and so poorly developed in this game i think it has a real negative effect on vincent as well because it, it makes me start to dislike vincent in a lot of scenes because she's so annoying and he's simping for her so hard and it's just like bro so but but that's not um that's really not a problem with her that's not really a problem with vincent that's just a problem with the writing team like it just needs like they clearly want to redeem that character i think it's totally doable i just don't think they've done it yet so i i don't i don't hate the character i don't hate vincent i don't like either one of them very much to be honest with you but I just feel like, you know, with the Rebirth trilogy with you know, or the remake trilogy, right? They have a chance to like completely redeem these characters in my in my eyes. Mainly uh uh what's her name? Lucre Lu Lucrezia. They have they have they have the opportunity if they want to, if they want to revisit any of this. I think that they could rewrite her character and uh you know, they have a they have a second or technically what would this be like a third or fourth shot at redeeming this character and making this character likable. I think they could do it and i hope that they do i hope that they do i'm not satisfied with that character at all i think i speak for a lot of fans i think a lot of people feel that way i know a lot of my chat felt that way some people don't feel that way but i think most people do and so i hope that they do her a little bit more justice in rebirth so that i can uh like that character and enjoy her redemption arc and root for her because i want to you just got to give me the incentive and i don't feel incentivized yet so that's probably my biggest criticism story-wise is that the heroine of the of the game is just totally unlikable and it has a really bad effect on, in my opinion on how likable the main character the protagonist is outside of that it was cool to see scenes with uh you know cloud and tifa barrett uh you know they're, they're not in the game much but it is cool to get to see them here and there and see the characters interact and the band gets back together again for, for a few scenes which is really cool the combat was uh acceptable and at times it could be fun i think at times it could be fun but it just gets in its own way too much it's it's a game that just keeps tripping over itself um it has a few customization elements in there for your guns which is fun switching guns on the fly is fun 
but the aiming is so janky the shooting is so janky and uh you know again just i i think the camera angles and the presentation of it is not very good it's probably the ugliest final fantasy 7 game it you know most of the environments are just brown and occasionally you get a little bit of gray and the characters are pretty colorful but everything else around them is dead and that was that was a little bit disappointing but um you know i, I was still able to i was still able to enjoy the game i was still able to you know, I had criticisms and things that I didn't like, but I was able to let that go and just accept it for what it was, which to me is a very mid game. I think that I would probably give that game a five out of 10. I think that, um, you know, it was definitely worse than Crisis Core Reunion. Crisis Core Reunion had a, had many more redeeming qualities to it than this. This came off uh, like a double A, a spin off you know, mid-budget game uh, for, for a Final Fantasy VII side character, or, well, you know, I don't want to call Vincent a side character, but he was a party member that wasn't, like, what you would call the main focus of the game, right? Uh, so, you know, it, it feels lower budget. It feels like it, it it had less talent that was working on it, no offense. Uh, and, and so I think it's just a product of that. I think it's a product of a game that needed more support like i feel like this game needed uh more talent more support bigger budget and it could have been better than what it was but for what it is i think it's a five out of ten game and uh you know if i think it's worth playing if you are just crazy about final fantasy 7 if you're crazy about final fantasy 7 and the characters that are in it then i think it is worth playing for the extra story and context that you get to characters and i think that uh I think it makes other games uh, like I think it adds some interesting context to Crisis Core that makes that a little bit more interesting. I'm glad I played this before Rebirth because now I'm wondering if I will see any of these characters or references to this in Rebirth. So I don't regret playing it. I don't regret playing it. Uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, I obviously just finished it like right now, so I haven't had time to sit down and really gather my, my thoughts, but... I am trying to present some good and some bad. It did have some awesome boss fights. It did have some annoying boss fights, uh, particularly the the final boss fight that we were going through where you, you have to do like this pre-boss fight fight and then you have to do another pre-boss fight fight. What the hell was that, you know? Um, you're waiting for these like crystals to open so you can beat them up. Like, what the, what are we, what the fuck are we doing, man? You know, you give me this badass gun, you know, Vincent like goes into like beast mode literally. And um, that was another thing I like that they, that they found a way to incorporate his limit break into the game. Super cool. Uh, but yeah, just certain decisions that they made mechanically and from a presentation um, aspect. I, I just don't know what they were thinking or exactly what they were trying to convey. I don't know if they were trying to pad certain sections of it out because I mean, it is a short game. I think I beat it in what chat nine, nine hours, nine and a half hours, 10 hours, maybe 11, maybe 10 to 11 hours. I beat this game. So it's not a long game. It's not a long game. And, um, so maybe they were trying to, to pad it out a little bit here and there. Uh, I thought that, you know, the way they incorporated materia was good and getting Mako and using that to use magic in the game. I thought that was really cool. Customizing your guns again. I thought that was really cool. Um, you know, it was interesting the way it was presented, like the, the format of the game. It's in stages, like, you know, like an older like action game from like the early 2000s or something like that. I thought that was, uh, you know, interesting and different. I liked it. Um, yeah, I mean, clearly they, they uh, clearly they were doing something very different, you know, that was clearly inspired by, I would say, Devil May Cry and Metal Gear. And I, I saw a lot of what I felt were nods to like 80s and 90s action movies. I saw a lot of nods to Devil May Cry, um, assuming that this came out after Devil May Cry did. I think it did. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. And a lot of nods to Metal Gear Solid. So I appreciated that. And uh, yeah, I, I I would not say it's a bad game. I wouldn't say it's a good game. I would say it's a very niche game for a very specific audience. And if you're in that audience, I think you should play this game regardless of what the reviews say. And if you're not a big fan of Final Fantasy VII, you know, you might just want to, you know, watch somebody stream it. Watch me stream it if you want. VODs are here on YouTube. Or you can just watch some YouTube videos on it. Try to get an idea if you want to go back and play it just to experience an older game. But those are my thoughts on it. Those are my thoughts on it. Overall, with the story, with the story that they told, it was a little convoluted and confusing at times. And I, I think it was, 
I think some of the dialogue was poor and, uh, you know, it, it, it wasn't the best story, but it was good enough that I'm happy I played it. So, you know, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Those are my thoughts on it.